all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew hero wrap gown now we have a tutorial on wrap skirts okay i'm going to go ahead and link that in the description box so you can actually learn how to achieve the wrap skirts of this gown so today's tutorial is the gown and we also have the skirt video which i'm going to put up first before this gown so if you haven't watched that after watching this go ahead and click on the link in the description box to be able to achieve how to cut and sew the wrap skirt but for today's tutorial we are going to be looking at hero wrap gown now hero wrap gown simply means a form of gown where it looks like you're tying a wrapper because here in nigeria especially for the yorubas they call tying of wrapper hero so hero wrap gown simply means like where is it a gown or a style where it looks like you're tying a wrapper but actually it's actually a gown right so we are going to be achieving that today what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your hero wrap gown your shoulder measurement bust waist hip and your gown length so our shoulder measurement is 18 18 divided by 2 we have 9 our bust is 46 46 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 13 inches our waist is 42 42 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 13 inches. Our hip is 49. 49 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1, we have 13.75. Our gown length is 54. So 54 plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance, we have 56 inches. So these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your hero wrap gown. Now, please join us on Facebook to the designs and on Instagram to the designs. In the course of this tutorial, if you have any question, please feel free to drop it in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on. Trainings are available also, both online training and physical training. All the details are going to be in the description box below now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so guys the first thing we are going to do now is to draft our pattern first and then we we'll transfer it to our fabric so now we are going to go ahead and mark our basic measurements we'll go ahead and mark our basic measurements shoulder to bust 10 inches Bust shoulder to under bust 14 and half, bust to waist 8 inches, waist to hip 9 inches, waist to knee length we have 17 inches. So, in order for you to know this basic line, our dart measurement, so our dart measurement is 4.5. So now we we'll mark four and a half inches. Go ahead and mark it up to our knee length. So we'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. Now on our waistline, on our waistline now, we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. And then we'll connect the lines together. So this is what we are going to have. Next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and extend this dart line to our shoulder. We're going ahead now to extend it. This is what it looks like. On your shoulder line now, go ahead and mark 5 inches. Once you've marked your 5 inches, connect it to the bust line. Now 
This is what we have. On the under bust line, on your under bust line, go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. On the under bust, mark half inch on both sides and then you connect the lines together. now and close our shoulder that's before taking our shoulder measurement so just go ahead now and close it and then we'll take our shoulder measurement which is nine inches So this is our shoulder measurement. So we we'll mark our bust measurement now. Our bust measurement is 13 inches. Our waist is 13. And then our hip is 13.75. For your lower side now, for your hip and your gown length, you will go ahead and deduct one to two inches, depending on how pencil you want it to be. So here we have 13.75. I will go ahead now and deduct one and a half inches. So I'll mark that on my gown length. I will deduct one and a half inches. So once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. Now we we'll connect our hip to waist. And then waist to bust. And then waist to bust. Now, we we'll also make use of our arm or curve, which comes in our pattern set and connect our bust to our shoulder. So this is what we are going to have. This is what we are going to have for the basic gown. Okay, this is what we are going to have for the basic gown. Before we now cut out the upper side, this is what we have. So this is what we have for the complete gown. So you can see the bustier effects and then you can see the dots for the lower side, which is our front block, right? So go ahead now and set this aside. So, for the back block now, we have our basic line. The next thing we are going to do for the back block is to go ahead and mark our zip allowance. And I'll be making use of 2 inches for my zip allowance. So, I'll go ahead and mark it all the way. Once I'm done with that, I'll connect my lines together. What we have... Now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our dart measurements, which is four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. We'll go ahead and connect the lines together. This line, we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides for the waistline. We'll connect it together. This is what we are going to have. Take our measurement because we don't have any bust, bustier or any effect at the back. So we just take our back, our shoulder measurement, which is nine inches, bust thirteen, our waist thirteen inches, our hip thirteen point seven five. Now we deducted one and a half inches. So for the front block, you are going to do the same also for the back block. Now you go ahead now with our pattern masters and pattern masters are available at our store. So I'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. Once we are done with that, we'll connect our hip to waist. Connect our hip to waist, waist to bust. And then our bust to our shoulder. So 
So this is basically what we have. Now we'll go ahead now and mark our shoulder, our arm O. We took away three and a half inches. For the depth of my back neckline, I'm going to make it of six inches. And I want like a square neckline. So this is what we have. Now we'll go ahead and mark one inch for our shoulder slope. And then we'll connect it together. So this is basically what our back block looks like. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut out our back block. All we have for the back block. This is what our back block looks like. Now, I'm not opening up this part of the back block because basically what we have is just like a single dart and we don't have so much effect going on. So, so guys, I'm making use of this African print and African prints are available, okay? So we're going ahead now to fold our fabric into two. Once we are done with that, once we are done with that, I'll place my back block on it. And then I'll go ahead and cut this out. So guys, after cutting it out, this is what we are going to have. We have two pieces for the back block. So, for the front block now, we've gone ahead also to fold our fabric into two. We've placed our pattern, which is the lower part. Now, we'll go ahead now and cut this out to give us a single piece. So, guys, after cutting it out for the upper block, this is what we have. And for the lower block, we have just a single piece. So, I'll go ahead now and set this aside. And for the upper block now, we have this coming this way for the bustier, okay? So this is what it looks like. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut our lining. So guys, in order for you to achieve your wrap area where we have the hero basically. Now, how are you going to know? the number of inches to use for the wrapper that is what i'm going to explain here now the first thing you are going to do is that your hip measurement of course the wrapper is going to be round your hip you should be able to go round your hip at least to the front right so your hip measurement our hip measurement is 49 let's just say 50 so that you guys can understand the explanation better so our hip measurement is 50 Divide 50 by 2, we have 25 inches, right? We have 25 inches. When you divide 50 by 2, you have 25 inches. Now you add 2 inches for folding allowance because you are going to fold this tip. You have 2 inches for your folding allowance. Now you have 27 inches. The length of your hero now, for the length of it, for me here, yeah, I have... For the length here, I have 45 inches. So by the time I'm done folding it, I'm going to have 43 inches, which is my waist measurement to my gown length. So you use your waist measurement to your gown length to achieve this. Now, let me... So guys, now we have two pieces for our back block, right? We've gone ahead now to turn them with our lining. So the next thing we are basically going to do now is to go ahead and fixing our zip and then we stitch this part all the way down. So once we are done, we are going to have one single piece for the back block. So for the front block, we have two pieces. This is the lower part and we have the upper part. So the next thing we are going to do now is you've gone ahead to turn them with your lining. Place it this way and then you go ahead and stitch it. So once this is the back block, we've gone ahead now to attach it. And don't forget that at the lower part of your long gown, you have to leave inches for your slits, okay? So this is what we have now for the back block. We'll go ahead now and set this aside. So guys, now for the front block, we've gone ahead now to attach the upper piece to the lower piece to give us a single piece now because what we want to achieve is a wrap dress you are going to go ahead now and cut out another piece now the length of your extra piece which you are going to use to 
turn as your wrap okay so the length of it so the length of your wrap will be equal to what you have from your waistline to your gown length okay so the measurement from your waistline where you have your joining to your skirt length is to so your gown length is what you are going to cut out for the length of your extra piece so for me now i have 45 inches for the length now for this way on one part of your front block you can see this is our wrap effect and this is what we have and this is our waistline where we have the joining now this is our back block now this is our back block so you just go ahead now and place your back block which is a single piece place your back block which is a single piece and then you go ahead and now use this and place your back block this way use your bust measurements your waist measurements and your hip measurements to couple this up once you are done with that i'll show you guys what it looks like wait wait so guys this is what we have so you can see the wrap effect at the lower side and basically your wrap dress is ready so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed creating it please ignore the mannequin and the dress because the dress is actually bigger than the mannequin and that is why the fitting looks red okay anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye